Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, March the 20th. It's the first day of spring, and it looks like spring outside, but it does not feel like spring at all. It's really cold. But anyway, it's lunchtime, so we're getting lunch done. I'm making grilled cheese sandwich. We had another bag of those, um, like, Chick-fil-A nuggets from Sam, so we're going to do that for the kids for lunch. And we've got some subjects finished up. They do have something to do after lunch, and then they're done. Well, at least my little kids are done. So it's now after two. We are at the orthodontist because Allie has an appointment. Hey, Natalie. I've got several of the little kids with me. Um, Emily, Amy, and Millie actually stayed home with Kylie. This is an hour-long appointment, so I, kn I knew that everyone wouldn't want to sit in the car for an hour. Um, but I had one, two, three. I had four that wanted to come with me, so they're just kind of hanging out in the van while we wait on Allie. She's got an hour-long appointment because they're doing top and bottom wires. I think that's what she said. So this one will make her kind of sore after. I remember all of this with Kylie because Kylie had braces for three years. I think it was right at three years Kylie had braces. So now it's Allie. And then we actually have Emily upcoming for braces. She has an appointment in April. Um, that's not the day for her braces, but it's just another checkup to make sure all those baby teeth have grown back before they put her braces on. So three in a row so far y'all with braces so far three in a row I want to say something real quick they always say like don't give your baby passies they'll have to get braces all this other stuff the two oldest girls hated passies they would not take it kylie um would take it every now and then for the first four months Allie hated passies pretty much and then emily she was my thumb sucker but i just i don't know i feel like a lot of that is just in their genes because I've got ones that sucked passies that their teeth are like perfectly fine. And I've got ones that didn't suck passies and they've had had braces. So I'm just <clears> saying, <throat> after having nine of my own, I can see the difference. Yeah, Holly was listening to me. So Holly, y'all, Holly sucked a passy for three years. She was like three years old before she finally <laughs> gave it up. Before we came here, Allie had to run into Walgreens to grab something. And while she was in there, I told her to grab Millie a new cup because she needed a new one. Um, and she sent me a picture. I was like, yeah, get the one with the handles. And I noticed they were buy one, get one 50% off. So I told her to get two. I told her to get the pink and the blue. But I didn't realize when she got out the car, which is fine. We're still going to keep them. Um, they're actually a straw. I'm trying to get this open so I can show y'all. But can you see that? It's a straw. Which Millie knows how to drink out of a straw really good. So it'll be interesting to see if she likes this kind of cup rather than the one she's used to but like i said she drinks out of my stanley cup all the time through a straw so she should be fine with it but they were buy one get one at 50 percent off in walgreens so i had her to get two of those all right so we're back home and i washed out millie's cup and put her some water in it and she's doing really good with it you like your new cup she's carrying the other one around in the package still yeah. where's nat nat's outside mm, yeah. she's always asking me where her sisters are Daddy. Huh? Where's Amy? Huh? Daddy. That's Everly? Mm. Where's uh, Bethany? Mama. Yep, Mama. What's your name? Name. Say Millie. Bow. That's a bottle. Look, say Millie. Bow. <laughs> yeah. Look, say Millie. Mammy. Millie. <laughs> she says okay. Mammy. All right, y'all. So it's dinner time now. I'm getting the ground beef browned up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes instead of using taco seasoning on our tacos, I like to use this fajita seasoning mix. It makes the tacos really, really good. We actually prefer this over the taco seasoning. So that is what I'm making real quick. And then tonight is actually Holly's night to go out. I told y'all I'm gonna take one girl out a week just to do something special, whatever they want to do. So tonight is Holly's night. So after dinner, her and I are gonna go out. Um, I think she said she wants to go to the Dollar Tree too, like Emily did. So we'll just see where we end up going tonight. But first, I'm gonna do tacos, get dinner cooked, we're gonna eat, clean up, and then we'll head out.
little taco bar over here. She's got shredded cheese in a bowl, salsa, and now she's about to put some chips in a bigger bowl. And then, yes, we get the ketchup out for our tacos because Kylie and I both like ketchup on our tacos. into the Dollar Tree and Bath and Body Works because Bath and Body Works is right beside the Dollar Tree. So do you want to show them what you found at the Dollar Tree? First thing she got are these little mini composition books. These things are so cute, y'all. You could keep them in your purse or anything to jot down notes. And it comes in a set of two for a dollar. So she got that. Stickers. Those are cute. And a makeup bag. She got a makeup bag. I think that was also a dollar. Look how cute it is. She got a little makeup bag. I already told y'all that Holly is like the girliest of girls of all of my girls. So she loves all things makeup. And then she got this little facial roller. Emily actually has one of these. So she wanted to get one like Emily. She got some lip balm. And look how big that lip balm is. She had to come to me and ask me what that was. I, and I had to read it myself because that is some thick lip balm, y'all. And it is, what is it? Is it like, it's, it's got donuts on it, but it doesn't really say a flavor <laughs> or anything. And then chewing gum. Gotta have chewing gum in that little bag, right? And then she got this little brush. You like wash your face with it. I actually used to have one of these from Walmart um, that was like battery operated, but they have them in there for a dollar where you can scrub your face. So she got her one of them. And then the last thing she got, what is that? Oh, yeah. her shimmer lip gloss. She got her some lip gloss. Is that everything for yours? Yep. And then for Bath and Body Works, we didn't get much at all. I actually went to the little rack that has, it's got little little items on it, and it's buy three, get one free. Um, but Holly's actually wasn't one of the get one free, but she picked out this little hand sanitizer in there. It is a Mango Paradise. She said it smelled good. So Holly got that little hand sanitizer for her bag, and I'll show you what I got for myself in there on the buy three, get one free of the little goodies. So I got this body spray. Um, I actually had the big one in my hand. I was thinking about getting the big one and then I noticed they had the little one in the same scent. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm just gonna let y'all see it. It's beach coconut and I don't know how to pronounce that word so I'm not even trying. But it smells so good. I done the little sample because you know Bath and Body Works has like the uh, like little testers. So I tested it. it. Smells really good. Holly helped me pick it too. She said it smelled good. Um, some lip gloss I got in there and then also more lip gloss. I actually ended up getting three lip glosses just because of the buy three, get one free. This one has like a kind of a tint to it. That one's clear and that one is just, these are one of my favorites from there. It's just a lip gloss because I like to have some in my makeup bag at home when I do my makeup and then I like to have some in my purse too. So I think I'm going to keep these in my purse. I'll probably even keep this spray in my purse. So anyway, that was our fun little Dollar Tree and Bath and Body Works haul. But anyway, that was fun. So I think we're going to head home now. All right. So it's now the next day. It is Tuesday, March the 21st, and it's a little bit after one. Um, so we had lunch a little while ago, got some things cleaned up. I got a few more things to clean. Kylie is actually job shadowing today. Um, if you don't know what that is, I don't know if all schools do this or not, but I remember doing it when I was in high school. I went to public school, um, but you could also do it if you're homeschooled. It's just when your child gets into high school, um, if you already know what they have an interest in, like what they want to do after high school, then they can pick someone to shadow that day, just kind of go to where they work and watch them all day long and how the job's done, just so they can get uh, like a feel for that field of career if they decide to go that way. Um, so she wants to be a veterinarian assistant. So we called our vet yesterday. I wasn't expecting them to get her in the next day, but they said, yeah, she can come tomorrow from eight to 5.30. So this is kind of her school day today is to go and watch. And they actually said they were gonna have a really busy day today. Um, they had lots of appointments, they had surgeries to do. So she is getting to see a lot today. And it's actually after one, she hasn't even got lunch break yet. So they must be pretty busy. I hope she's enjoying it. I can't wait to hear all about her day and how it went and to see if she enjoyed it, but she's always, 
always loved animals and just has a heart for animals and mentioned working at a veterinary clinic several times throughout her life so I'm excited for her and then Allie is my second high schooler but she's only in ninth grade right now I'm gonna do some shadowing next year or the year after um she wants to do cosmetology so anyway I'm thankful that the girls are kind of getting an idea of what they would like to do after high school and if that changes that's okay too we already have 10 eggs in here at only one and I will probably get one or two more so our chickens are picking up even more which is exciting so I've got some here on the counter I've got I think three dozen in the fridge um, I think one day for lunch this week we're gonna just cook up a bunch of boiled eggs and have them because my kids love them some boiled eggs uh, with lunch they like boiled eggs pears applesauce things like that like a snacky lunch so I think that's what we'll probably do tomorrow she knows how to say Bethany now that was one of the hardest words for her to say of her sisters and she can say it. Well, you've got to hear her say it. I hope she says it. Bethany. Say, say Bethany. <laughs> say Bethany. Bethany. She says she either says Debbie or Betty. Say Bethany. Bethany. <laughs> say Bethany. Debbie. 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 Where's Debbie? A snack. Uh, did y'all hear her? She knows where her snack drawer is, doesn't she? Do you want a cracker? You want a cracker? Okay, I'll get you a cracker out. Right, we're actually gonna have grilled pork chops, green beans, and I think waffle fries because we have more of those waffle fries left from Sam's. So I think that's what we're doing for dinner tonight. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button down below before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye y'all.